can't believe it. I actually found a drone to get her house. Oh, what? You don't know what drone to get her is? Well, it's an animated reality show that took place in that house. So the participants are Foxy Love, a mystery solving musician. No. Foxy, I want to apologize. Oh, you can apologize. Bye, shut the fuck up. Ling Ling, a battle monster who gives children seizures. <laughs> Zender, a totally gay video game character. I've had a lot of gay sex in my life. A, a, a lot of gay sex. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of gay sex. I had a lot, lot of gay sex. Huge, huge amounts of lots. They even make him take two gay tests. Tell me the first thing you see. Cock, Willie, Wang, Woody, Wood, Hecker, blue vein custard chucker, one eyed wiggling Welshman, pink helmeted milk shooting man banana plunging into the hole of an ass. Then there's Waldor Sogbat, a completely annoying whatchamacallit. Waldor Sogbat, what in God's great white earth are you doing? You can't stop pumping. There's Toot, a sex symbol from the 20s who cuts herself. <sighs> Sometimes I cut myself to relieve the pain. <laughs> and Princess Clara, a completely bigoted fairy tale princess. I mean, where I come from, all my servants are black. Or worse. Spanky Ham, a cross internet download. Are you defecating into a cantaloupe? <laughs> this is awkward. Uh I guess if I just waited an hour, I could have chalked this one up to the booze, huh? Hey, listen, let's not live in the past, all right? Come on, guys, let's party! Captain Hero, the worst superhero of all times. Oh, what are we gonna do if the thief comes back? We're dead! Oh, hold me! There's even a drinking game for that show. You have to drink every time something gay happens. Oh no, not again! No, no, no more! Why don't you come into my land? And I do mean that as a double entendre. This show is so wrong. For example, in the second episode, Clara thinks she's pregnant because she kissed Foxy. Then, after hearing Foxy's explanation on to how to make a baby... And that's how two people who love each other very, very much make a welfare check. I mean baby. Clara reveals that she has a monster for a vagina. We even discovered that Pac-Man is a travestite. I mean, there's no reason Miss Pac-Man needs to know I'm gay. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I think she already knows. This show presents itself as a reality show. We even meet the producer. Simon says it's oh. biblical in scale. Ling Ling speaks Asianese. And I don't mean he speaks some kind of Asian language. I mean, he makes sounds and says words that sounds like he's speaking Japanese. Of course, he needs to be subtitled, but the other characters don't understand what he says. Ling Ling's right, damn it! We must kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Misinterpret Ling Ling! With three seasons, it's definitely worth it. It's provocative, it's gross, and it's hilarious. Well, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all a great week. See you next time.